guys so once again welcome into my uh youtube channel this tutorial i'll be walking you guys on how to use money as a scroll master this is one of the key tools that we use in a uh, refinement global refinement and estimation so it carries the fibonacci sequence that we kind of know of uh, but it's very kind of a little bit tricky for me in this tutorial of walking you through on how you create a room and how you can upgrade this planning book into Jira. Something you can do it. But if you join a company, it's always good to use a free version. If you guys are using Jira, you need to know because once you are integrating into Jira, you need to pay. This other book is free. So once you go to planningpoker.com, so in the description of this video, keep on, I'm gonna put a link there on how you can navigate this. So first, you need to have a login. Once you have that login, you put an email. Remember, it's totally free. And once you hover over here, this is where you see the different stuff. So like this is a sample of an email that I get, and you need to have an email, the username, your password, and all those type of cool things. And you need to create a room, okay? Once you want to create a room for your team, this is where you start. Once you click the create button, it opens here. So once this room comes, you can now, for example, you have two or three different teams. That is where you now come to like uh, give the different names of your team. For example, I'm just gonna give the first team here, I'll just call it this one, this one team. That's the name of one of my teams. So you can see here by default, it's already uh, elected to Scrum because what we do here is Scrum. Okay, so we're using this for our uh, log requirement and estimation. In this drop down menu, there are different things. You just want the Fibonacci sequence, you want the sequential, you want the thing that and the t-shirt sizing things. But most of them always go with Chrome. So once you go with Chrome, under here we see customize card. This is where you see the Fibonacci sequence number. For example, it's always advisable that you let your team estimate the panel. Because in every story that you estimate at the book of your mind, you have two key people. The development team, you have the developers and you have the QA. Because I believe like once you are estimating one, the story you know, one simply means you are telling me that in one day you're gonna get this out. Because each time you estimate in hours, there are so many things that will distract the team that will them off guard. So always good to have one and two out because I don't always involve them. So I three, I know this ideal. Five, I know five is ideal. I take it. A story point above eight, we know that this is a avenue where we need to split that story. So we have agreed as a team that we need to pull in stories of just five points each because we have a two week sprint so we can have the diff and the QA within the sprint. Then we are able now to use in a question mark when the team, the story is kind of complex, when they, there are a lot of unknowns, when the developers cannot estimate. This is where we kind of use our question mark and then we are able now to kind of like move with the spy. Also, we always have the coffee cup. This coffee cup is for the scrum master and the PO, not involved in the development. And we tend to use the coffee cup. We just vote so that we can be part of the team. And what, one key thing that you need to note is that all of these four boxes are always checked by default. Because this is an avenue through which we uh, kind of try to negotiate following one of the uh, invest criteria, you know, just be able to negotiate so that we can estimate for you to do that once they vote for the first time you need to allow them to change their vote so come here take this you know allow players to change vote scoring has been shown so as we go down into this tutorial you'll be seeing how it's done so once you select all this write your scrum team name of your team you might be having multiple teams always select scrum you come over here you customize the card and you can now come now here and select the card that you have Four of these checkbox are always selected by default. And you can now click here, allow players to change the vote that scoring has been shown. Once you're done, you can then now play your credit. We now have our board. First often, this box will pop with new stories. For example, here, I'm just going to do some sample here. This is test. It's our test. And if we have five stories in the line, you do save and unnew and this will be my test one I'll save and unnew 
and I will test two. Then we just save and close. Once I have all my uh, all my stories all, the key thing is this: always encourage your PO to send out the agenda away ahead of time so you can prepare this and have it handy for the team to have to to just kind of like populate it before you guys come for that in plan to uh, know for the refinement. Once all these things are done, once you copy all the shortcuts on your stories or the short description and put them in here, then you can save and close. So once you save and close, you now have all the lists of your stories in here. First part, you can now see we selected three, we selected five. If we have a question mark when the developers don't have an understanding of the story, then you have a tick off for those who are just participating, who are not really like, you know, uh, having an understanding of the story or who are not to participate in the development now once you set all this together it's now time for you to invite your team to join the board two ways you can either copy this link and send in an email or come in here once you come in here it's good to come in here and uh send through their send it directly to their email so guys you can now see uh when i enter the email here i've been able now to join so this is me here i've kind of joined already now here and once you every participant have joined you can now start the, uh, the planning poker once you start the planning poker it automatically it's on their device on their laptops or whatever they might be using a phone so whatever gadget they are using they should be able now to have access to that link so once they have access to that link there are some cool things here that i'll be showing you guys so in here you can it's very easy for you if you have maybe your managers they keep coming into the uh, your refinement they are estimating stories for your developer there are key ways you can just shut that out without really pissing anybody off it's very easy because in your refinement it is very important that only those who are going to be working on the user stories should be able to estimate now if i happen to hover over this second name here as i click on this there are key things here you can either make this developer a moderator you can make the developer a player you can make the developer an observer so as you make the developer an observer it's nothing he cannot vote anything so always try to ensure that only those who are working on this who are to be working on this story should be able to estimate your death and the QA, they should be the two key people. So if I happen to select as observer, they can't be able to vote, they cannot vote. They won't do anything on the board. They will just be watching, they can't do anything. So that are the of the mind. Now, I'm going to vote. Just vote once any of your player vote you see as the tick, uh, green tick mark is gonna show up here. And I vote. So once everybody has vote, you finish. Okay, click finish. Once they deliberate, they say, oh no, I have a five, I have a two, I have a three, and there's still some discrepancy. Remember the checkbox I said, tell the vote, include where the, the where the developers should be able to revote again. You can tell the vote and ask them to vote again. Once it pops up again, they're gonna vote. And then you can see once they now vote and now finish the voting, drops of this percentage, everybody comes to a consensus. Once they come to that consensus, you can now the story story point, then you plug it into your Jira board or into your rally board or into your Azure board where it states story point and you click next. Once you click next, it moves you to the second story. So this is how you do it and you moderate the board. Then how can you integrate this board to Jira? Yes, it's doable. You can integrate your planning poker of your Jira board. As you click on this feedback support, now this is the this checkbox is gonna come up. It will ask you, do you wanna integrate with Jira? But note, as you do all these things, it's no more free, the free version. You need to pay. You can integrate it to your mobile app. You can integrate this to be part of your Jira. You can hide it. So there are key things that can be done here. So it is very important for you to understand all these things. Do it with the knowledge of your company. Don't just do it because you're a Scrum Master or maybe because you're a Jira admin, you can just play and walk around with this board this week. No, get some support, get some permission before you can do this because this is an external, um, like an external side that you are bringing into your company uh, website. So they might be so heavily involved in their security and stuff like that. So make sure that you're in sync with your company, you 
follow the company policy, you ensure that you are not uh, putting their company at risk holding this, but this is a free site. They want to start integrating it into Jira, they do some money. So this is the short way on how you can use Jira. I mean, you can use planning poker and integrate it, and integrate it to Jira, and how you create a room and how you monitor your different refinement and estimation meeting as a Scrum Master. I hope you found this video uh, helpful and insightful. Um, give it a like, subscribe so that you wouldn't miss any tips how to navigate and beautify your career world in the agile world. Thank you.